Welcome everyone, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it, it really helps my channel grow. Today I'll be showing you guys how to tie the Clouser Minnow, one of my favorite flies. So I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start off with two watt O'Shaughnessy hooks. I'm using the ones by Mustad just because I found them in my fly box. I feel like they work pretty well. Next up, we're going to use um, Kevlar thread. I normally use white flat wax nylon, but I didn't have any of that, so I'm improvising. So you just want to start by making wraps about halfway to your hook shank. Remove the thread. Now for the lead eyes, I use 1 40th ounce eyes. I feel like they sink very well. So you want to make three loose wraps around either side of the fly just to secure it, make sure it doesn't move. So once you've done that, go a couple times in front, a couple times in back, a couple circles around and under. This will help tighten the threads previously sewn. Now figure eights. Just do this about eight to 10 times. Probably went a little bit over overboard right here, but some more circles. And back in front. Now for the underbelly, we're gonna be using white bucktail. Bucktail works the best when using clousers. You want just a tad bit of material because less is always more when you're making flies going to use that about this much. Cut it off here. Now with bucktail, there's some shorter fibers in woven into the bucktail. So you want to grab it about three quarters of the way and then just pull away the excess shorter hairs. That way you're left with the longer hairs. So you want to Cut off the thread, square them up, and then put your bucktail at a 45 degree angle. Make sure the it's touching the back of the hook eye. Make a couple loose wraps. And then start making multiple wraps to cinch it tight to this hook chain. Once you got that, go under your eyes and then to the hook shank. Make sure that bucktail is going over the eye, the dumbbell eyes. So you want to make loose wraps down the shank of the hook. That'll help channel some of the bucktail. And then back up to the front. Next will be our flash. Um, the flash that I'm using is Crystal Flash from Bill Jackson. You can use any of it, but I just prefer this stuff. So if you cut it into two, then wrap it around the thread, it makes it a lot easier to put on. Cinch it tight. Make a couple beginning wraps and then finish it up. All right, that's done. Moving on to the body. Now for the body, I like to use chartreuse bucktail. They say if it isn't chartreuse, it ain't no use. It's just fish are strangely attracted to this color for some reason. So you want to use just a tad more material than we did in the previous thing. Remove the hairs, 45 degree angle. Square your hairs out. Couple loose wraps. Then finish it up. And we're done, pretty much. So you wanna take the hair and split it halfway on the hook shank just so you get a nice even presentation in the water. Now 
Now I'm gonna make a couple half knots to secure the thread. And cut your thread. Now for the adhesive, I'm using Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. You can use whatever adhesive you like. I just feel like this Hard as Nails hardens really fast. So you just want to apply an even coat all the way around the head of the fly. You also can go through the shank. And that is our finished clouser. This fly is a great saltwater fly. I've seen so many fish caught off this fly. Bob Clouser did an amazing job. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, I know this video is a little bit cringy. It is my first video, so take it lightly. Um, if you have any advice, please leave it down in the comments below. If you do tie this fly and you catch a fish with it, make sure you send the video or the picture to me and I'll feature it on my Instagram page. And remember, not all flies are perfect. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. Peace.